I didn't know what I was feeling. I think I do now. Well, you've decided you're gay. So I've got to change. Doesn't matter if I have a little nip or tuck, does it? So is it. Happy families for you guys again. Yes, Dennis, but Mike and I realise that, you know, we need to be open to more things. Variety is the spice and all that. <laughs> yeah, we've both developed some new habits that we really should keep up with because it keeps us young and alive. This time it's for good though, right? I was uh, just um, trying to uh, intercept the divorce papers because uh, you guys don't need them anymore, right? Uh, yeah, but, but don't get too excited, Tom, because, I mean, you know, it's a good arrangement. But there's still a great deal that we need to talk about. Yeah. I actually have uh, a lot that I need to say. Yeah, me too. Forms came this morning. I've just got to get Mum to sign them now. It's going to be well hard. She's really occupied with Dad. I guess that's good though, right? I don't know, cosmetic surgery, it sounds a bit too much like surrogacy. Surrogacy? How did I do that? That a man? Look, it's really getting between Dad and Donna and all that. It's getting between me and Begonia by making her lie. I really like her. She's the one. I want you to give her and try again. Yeah, and Donna will go mad. And you've got a bit of a problem, haven't you? It's like a battle, isn't it? Family versus love. I go family every time. That's what you've got and that's what you're ever going to get. Mine's great, isn't it, Mum? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, wonderful arrangement as it stands. Let's <laughs> go. No hints of any problems at all? No, not really. It's just the same as it always was. See you later. You're sleeping with him, aren't you? Dennis, no, of course not. I can't do this timeshare, Fiona. Well, can't we be open about it? I mean, not tell everyone, but I like Mike and stuff. Look, Dennis. I can't. Not, not yet. Look, we, we can make this work. I mean, Mike's really busy at work with these bike seats or something. So lunchtime, meet me at home. Maybe we could just kiss more or something. What was that? Nothing. No, I heard something. <laughs> it's your imagination. Mike's at work. We can make as much noise as we like. I'd just feel a lot better if he knew. Anybody home? I knew it. I'll break my neck. I might, Will. I've told you, you've got to say something. <clears throat> Afternoon delights, eh? <laughs> Just like when we first got married. Yeah, I didn't realise you were going to be home, actually. Oh. But you can have some if you want. Sex. Huh? Well, that's what I came home for now that we're um, together again. I realise that we're probably not ready, you know, to start all that again. Not yet. No, no, not yet. Yeah. Um, soon. Oh, yeah, no, great. I'm, I'm not rushing you. Good. Good, yeah. Um, uh, right, let's get this on a plate. <laughs> sure you want some? Oh, yeah. I love marshmallows. Mike, ab about this sex thing. I mean, I know, it, you know, it's still the, the biggest thing getting between us. I know, I know. It's my fault. No, 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 it's mine. I, I, I have these needs. All right, Fiona. Mike. I haven't told him yet. To Tom what? Tom. Uh, Tom. I, I haven't told Tom that Dennis wants help with his homework. You know, you probably see him at school after lunch. How did you get in here anyway? Yeah. The door was open. I'll see you back at school then, shall I, Mrs. Brake? I, I just didn't feel right 
it, Dennis. You promised me you'll tell him. Oh, we're going to have to finish it. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, I promise. Hey, Mr. Sunshine. You someone's having a good time in this house. Yeah, school's cool with Fiona. Mrs. Bright. Good. Good for you, Dennis. I always thought you deserved a little more attention. It's easier now that Sam's not around. Yeah. But it'd still be nice to do and stuff, though. She had not You know, I was thinking about what we were talking about earlier. You know, sex thing. Oh. Oh, yeah, me too. I, I was talking to Jeremy about it. I'm sorry, but I had to talk to someone. I don't think this is doing us any good at all. And I, and I think it's affecting Tom as well. I think we should be straight with each other, don't you? Uh, how do you mean, straight, exactly? Has Jeremy said something? Well, just that we should talk, and he's right. I've got needs, Mike. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but if we, we still can't share them with each other, then maybe outside stimulus is what we need. I mean, I, uh, look, I know it's kind of my own problem and it's selfish and I should be able to control myself more and... No, no, Fiona. It's me as well. Now, if I can't help you, then why shouldn't you look elsewhere? Maybe if I turn a blind eye, then that might be easier for both of us. Jimmy? Jimmy, what's wrong? I'm in love with an older woman. W what's wrong with that? I'm sorry. Well, you don't have to be sorry for something that's really perfectly natural. No, for messing up your marriage. Look, I'm glad you're a proper family now, and well, it's just sometimes people's people struggle to have a family can mess up a whole load of lives. But you and Mister Break your naturals. Hardly. Everyone has to work at relationships, Jimmy. They don't just happen. Mike and I thought about having a, a baby once to save our marriage. You know, people just latch on to things, you know, the search for that special house, that special job. When really all you are is unhappy. And no house or baby is going to make you complete. Or save a relationship that's already dying. Or dead. What can I do, Mrs. Bright? Follow your heart, Jimmy. It's the only thing that doesn't come with a price tag. You haven't told him, have you? No, I haven't. But look, look, we don't need to. We can, we can still see each other. Mike won't mind. How can you say that? Um, uh, Dennis, I think we should talk about your um, choices for university. Yeah, sometime sure, later. Uh, we'll do. Mrs. Brake. Everything all right? Oh yeah, I know. I, I just don't think Dennis has what it takes for Cambridge. I didn't know young Master Doyle was so ambitious. He obviously wants to play for the big league. <sighs> Don't all, boys. <laughs> I suppose we do. But anyway, listen, I didn't come here to talk about that. I wanted to know how everything was at home. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, brilliant, actually. Yeah, yeah, Mike and I had a talk, and he's been very understanding, and I feel good. Mm, but? Oh, really? Oh, I don't know why I said all that yesterday. Look, why don't you come over and have dinner with us tonight? I'm, I'm sure Mike would love to have you, and then... And then you can tell me if you think our little experiment's working. <sighs> okay. Do you like this? Mmm. Does your Cambridge student please you? Mmm. Nice. What's wrong? Nothing. You sure? Yeah, of course. Kiss me. Sign that, Tom. I won't allow you to alter your nose. You said that change is good. Tom told me that you've always enhanced the moment and made the most of what you got. This is between my son and me. Shame, ma'am. It was yours and Mike's open attitude what made me want to move in here, innit? What do you mean? It means he thinks you and Dad have got open minds. <sighs> An open relationship, too, probably. My marriage is my 
business and I will not allow Tom to mutilate himself. That is so hypocritical. I mean, especially after what you did. And who are you to forbid me to change when I'm unhappy anyway? Would you do that to Dad? I'm not his mother. I'm your mother. And you're about to make a huge mistake and I won't allow it. That's it? Yes. We're over. Again. I can't let this destroy my family. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. One day you'll understand. Understand what? Well, I don't think that Dennis will be a Cambridge caliber student. Yeah, it stings. Thought I was getting better. Well, I know I'm a teacher and I shouldn't say this, but you don't need college, Dennis. You're a wonderful young man and you'll go far. Hmm. Um, do you want a cup of tea, Fiona? I know, I've got to run. Thanks. All right.